African vegetables. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for always coming back and watching my videos. As you can see today, I want to preserve these traditional African vegetables, commonly known as managu here in Kenya, Africa. So I've bought all these for around $5 or 500 shillings. I've started off by sorting and removing the long sticks. I want to wash the vegetables. I will thoroughly wash these vegetables so that they are very clean, especially because they are coming from the soil and all that. So this managu is an indigenous African vegetable that is really, really delicious. And getting it here in the city is really hard. So once I get this large uh, kind of amount, I have to preserve it so that it can save me or last me for about uh, six months of use. So guys, I have to wash it thoroughly in this uh, water. So I've just put in a lot of water to ensure that I'm washing off all kinds of dirt that is in the vegetable. You can see it's very green and it's it's actually among the most expensive African vegetables here in Africa. I have to put all of it in this uh, cooking pot. Then I just put over the gas cooker so that it boils. I am not adding anything. I'm not even adding any water. The water that I used to wash it will continue being the one that it boils with. It will always retain some water. So this is the next morning. I already boiled the vegetables. You can see how they have reduced even the color and uh, they have reduced in uh, quantity. They, are, they have kind of shrunk, but they have cooked well. Now I have these Ziploc bags, these ones which are recommended for the freezer which I'm going to now pack into small portions. I'm going to use this larger uh, Ziploc bag as a hand glove. I'll get some hand gloves later on. But for then, for now, let's just use what we have in the house. I'm packing this into small portions which we can consume all at once once we remove it from the freezer. I prefer it this way because uh, it gives me ability to plan for the meals that we have easily because I know how much quantity of vegetables is available in the house. So I'll have to pack into all the bags that I have here. These Ziploc bags are available in supermarkets or any outlets that sells uh, household items. Here in Kenya, you can get them at Naivas and you can even get them at Kamukunji Market. And if you are interested in getting these bags, let me know on the comment section. I can leave a contact of a, a, a seller who normally supplies to me at an affordable price compared to the supermarket prices. So guys, hope you are enjoying this video this far. Let me know which other vegetables you want me to show you how to preserve and store. Don't put salt while uh, boiling this. I have to squeeze out the excess water from the vegetables so that I have just the vegetable alone so that it freezes uh, faster and easily. And also when you have a lot of water, then it starts freezing within the vegetable and it may even tear the ziploc bag guys hope you're enjoying the video so far let's continue packing our vegetables let's pack all the vegetables into these small ziploc bags because we have a long month ahead and we need to plan well so that we have food in the house throughout remember these vegetables have not lost their uh, their nutrient value so I know I have gotten this question so many times. People ask me, when you freeze food, does it, it lose its value? Does it, it taste bad? No. I've done these freezer meals for a long time and the food has always been just as good as fresh. And uh, another thing is in availability. We don't get these vegetables easily available here in the city. And so once you get them, it's, it's, it's good to preserve them while you have them. We have to continue packing all these vegetables here so that we are we have uh, sufficient for the whole month i don't think we'll even reach six months because we consume this very very fast 
hope guys you're enjoying the video so far which other where are you watching us from which traditional vegetables do you preserve and if you use the similar method kindly leave a like comment and also subscribe to my channel when you subscribe to my channel you make me and motivate me to make such videos and i know that you are loving the content in here kindly like and comment so this is the last one we are just finishing off this is the very last one that i'm putting in you can see i have like six i think i have six i have six bags that i've managed to obtain and then i'll i'll ensure i seal them properly i'll seal them and then i'll proceed to store them in the freezer at an upright position you can see my freezer is empty i've been trying to restock it because this is the end of the month so here i want to just keep the vegetables this corner i'll still add some more different types of vegetables but for today we're just gonna add these ones i hope guys you've enjoyed the videos and you have learned how to preserve traditional african vegetable commonly known as managu this is a deep freezer and it is a good one bye bye